Now, now it's recording. Now it's recording? Okay, let me see. Okay, perfect. Okay, right, so I know what I mean. Okay. Hey, this is uh, William McPherson. I'm a Cisco uh, internet programming technician. Uh, Cisco, see, we're everywhere. Uh, and uh, I'm here to explain the concept of what a VLAN is, right? A VLAN, right, is a virtual LAN, right? Or in uh, networking, you say uh, virtual LAN, right? And a LAN is a uh, is a local, oh, sorry, is a, is a local area. It's a local area network. All right. This is my certification. Make sure you know that I'm certified. Mm -hmm. uh, William McPherson. Now, a LAN is a local area network. And um, this is what a LAN does. Um, well, this is what a virtual LAN does. Hold on, let me get a reason. Uh, let's say you're at your job, right? And uh, you have a lot of computers connected to what's called a switch. It's a device, a device that's called a switch. And you're at your job. And uh, and uh, the network is uh, congested, right? Uh, let's say you have a switch, right? This is a switch, right? And you have a number of computers connected to the switch, right? You have a number of computers that are connected to the switch. So these computers, um, they uh, they're in the same. Uh, Broadcast domain, right? They uh, they're contending for the for the network. They're actually they're in the same collision domain. Now, uh, let's say what you would do is so you would get less traffic on the network. You would group the computers, right? You would group those computers, those computers. You would group them together in a virtual LAN. That's a, cool. Yeah, in a virtual LAN, and what it does, um, it, uh, it segments the traffic. It segments the traffic. I remember I was asked this question uh, once on a uh, in, on an interview. It was on a phone interview, and I remember the guy asked me. He said, uh, "You know, the, the network is kind of slow. You know, the, the entire network is slow. What would you do?" And automatically, I told him, "Oh, okay. You would put it in a VLAN, right? Group them. Group them. Yeah. Group them. Yeah. What's that? Group them. Yeah. Group, you group them. it in a, in, a, in, a, in a VLAN, in a virtual LAN. And um, and furthermore, I even believe I told the gentleman uh, that." Uh, you, uh, the commands that you would use to put it in a VLAN on a Cisco switch, the commands are uh, switch port, right? Switch port, mode, access, right? And then it's uh, switch port, access, uh, VLAN uh, 2. Uh, but, uh, with the VLANs, you can have from one to four thousand ninety six VLANs. How many computers is that? Uh, well, actually, okay. So VLAN one is a uh, is we call it the default administrative VLAN, mm -hmm. right? So it, so you can use any VLAN from two to four thousand ninety six. Those are the um, VLANs that you can use. And actually, uh, VLAN one thousand one to one thousand five are VLANs that. We cannot use. I forgot why. We call them uh, right. like some type of VLANs that you can't use. Right. I forgot what it's called. So it's you only right. have three thousand VLANs. Uh, well, yeah, or under three thousand. Yeah. Well, technically, it's it's one to four thousand and ninety six VLANs, virtual LANs that you can use. Uh, the commands to put um, a VLAN in a VLAN, uh, the computer in a VLAN, is uh, switch port, right? Mode, access, right? And then it's switch port, access, VLAN, and then you can say like two, right? And then, um, uh, yeah, those are the commands to put the, the, um, the, the interface into a VLAN configuration into, into a VLAN. I remember I told this gentleman this, right? Yeah. And, he had, and he asked me, uh, what are the benefits of putting uh, computers in VLANs? And uh, it kind of it kind of dawned on me that I think I knew more than he did when he asked me that question because I think he was just trying to ask me like a trick question, you know? I mean, if your network is congested, so you knew, yeah, yeah, if your network